Now this year you will experience supernatural speed. You know, I wanted to say strength. But God interrupted my speech and said speed because of somebody. I'm prophesying it to you again. Experience supernatural speed. In your destiny, in your career, may God give you the speed of an eagle. In the name of Jesus Christ. You hear me? This is the final blessing. Many of you left so many things to be here. You were patient to stay till the end. That is how God will not rest until he finishes his work in your life. I call for helpers into your life. Hey. Let me prophesy to anyone who is trusting God to settle down this year. Strangers will appear from nowhere and take care of your bills. You will be the one to look for bills to settle. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Isaiah 43 verse 4, the Bible says, because I have loved you, I will give you, I will give forth men for your life and people for your sake. Prophecy to one is for all. Those of you that intended to settle down this year, first of all, I declare it done. And then the finance, the resources, we call it into your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Anything that looks like a reproach around your life is coming to an end this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? The Lord said you will not see shame. Yeah. I see God taking care of people's rent. People's rent. Rent. You will not see shame. Help that woman there. You will not see shame. I banish shame from your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of you have been calling and trying to reach out to people who will help you stop calling them after tonight they will be the ones to call you listen god spoke to elijah he said go to the city of zarephath for there i have commanded a widow to sustain you for some of you you may not be having access to divine provision because you are not where god has commanded for your sustenance but because you came here tonight May the wind of the Holy Ghost catapult you to your place. Catapult you to your appointed place. Some of you that are supposed to be in Abuja, may the wind of the Spirit catapult you to Abuja, to Lagos, to Calabar, to UK, to Australia, to South Africa, to the United States. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I saw two people come back here with a testimony of a scholarship. I mean a scholarship abroad, oh, a scholarship abroad. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that you are an overcomer. Hear me? You will go back and challenge your challengers. By the anointing of God that is upon your head today, you will go back and pursue your pursuers. He said, Thou anointed my head with oil. My cup runs over. I place an anointing on your life. Let that oil flow on your head tonight. And I declare, begin to produce extraordinary results. Produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that everyone trusting God for divine visitation, let this moon be your moon. May God visit your spiritual life. May God anoint you afresh. May your prayer life soar like that of an eagle. Some of you this month, you will hear the voice of God for yourself. The voice of God that will bring divine direction is coming to you this month. You will not escape it in the name of Jesus Christ. Every family that is experiencing crisis, tonight the Prince of Peace is coming into your home. Anyone that the devil has manipulated in your family that is the object of the crisis, the peace of God is coming upon them tonight. Anything that was lost is restored. Anything that was stolen is returned. 
in the name of Jesus Christ go forth and excel go forth and prosper and I pray for you that in this in the midst of this economy for those of you in Nigeria while men say there is a casting down for you it will be a season to rise what is swallowing others will be for your rising in the name of Jesus Christ may God bless the works of your hands and I pray for you that in this season of wickedness of kidnappings of terrorisms of killings that your life is preserved those of you that travel by day and by night by air and by land your life is preserved Amen. that of your family members is preserved Amen. the Lord is asking me to say this finally I declare there will be no kidnapping of your family members this year from now to the end of this year we banish kidnappers from your family in the name of Jesus Christ hear me your money will never be used for ransom at the same time you will never bury anybody in Jesus name we pray the Lord bless you and keep you cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you those of you connecting online God bless you We'll see you again next week. Make sure you are there. And let's trust God for an awesome time. I declare to you, be blessed.